now on Coast TV News. Weed changes could be coming to Ocean City. What you can expect up next. A piece of history trying to return to Rehoboth Beach. Details on the ongoing Bell Haven Hotel debate. And the afternoon downpours deliver a deluge of rain, causing flood warnings throughout all of Delmarva. We have several things to catch up on, so I'll update you on the latest. This is Coast TV News at 5. Tweaking the rules that govern marijuana dispensaries in Ocean City. Good evening. I'm Madeline Overturf. And I'm Charlie Sakaitis. Welcome to our News at 5. We begin tonight with some changes being considered by the Ocean City Planning Committee. It's in reaction to the state of Maryland making changes to regulations that govern marijuana dispensaries. Ocean City is looking to do the same. Coast TV News reporter Kevin Zappay shows us what those changes would be and how people are reacting to them. The Ocean City Planning Committee is looking to change certain cannabis laws to align themselves with recent changes made by the state. Regular visitor Bob Zeller thinks that just makes sense. That sounds like a good idea to me. So what are those changes? Well, to start with, they will adjust the hours of operation. Originally, shops in Ocean City could only operate from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. This new proposal would expand that, allowing shops to run from 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. It would also put in rules to regulate locations. No shop could be within 500 feet of a school, place of worship, or public park. I would be in agreement. It doesn't need to be around a school or parks. Um, and closing at 9 versus 11. And to make sure you don't just have rows of pot shops all right next to each other, they will install a regulation that mandates dispensaries to be at least half a mile away from any other dispensary. Although these rules are not yet set in stone, one weed shop is okay with whichever way the council votes. I talked to someone who works at a marijuana dispensary who didn't want to appear on camera, but told Coast TV that if these changes did go into effect, that it probably wouldn't change their day-to-day -day operations. Still, Zella thinks the ability to have stores open later would be beneficial, especially for people in need. If there's individuals that need it for medicinal purposes based on if they're sick, a cancer, where this product does help them, it's their terminal, I don't have an issue with it. The Ocean City Council will review the proposed changes during a later meeting. I'm Kevin Zappay in Ocean City, Coast TV News. We're taking a live look into Cambridge right there. You can see an awful lot of gray skies and we're gonna check in with Chief Meteorologist Paul Williams who used a word I love for describing rain and wet weather, deluge. That's basically the personification and the personality of the storm that's pushing across. You see, this is supposed to be just run to the mill afternoon thunderstorms, you know, start at one to 30, end at about 4.30 and then we're done. Problem is we had so much heat energy in place more just started developing over and over again, and then we have the deluge happening. Even our camera lens still being hit with the rain for us in Lewis at this present time, courtesy of our Irish Lies camera. And we're looking for the scattered showers and thunderstorms to continue throughout the night. So here's the latest. We have flash flood warning, which means flooding is happening in Georgetown, Sycamore, Bryan Store, Morris Mill, Millsboro, uh, Lowe's Crossroad, Laurel, and in Seaford. Not only that, we also have additional flood warnings in Quantico, Salisbury, Eden, and even pulling out for places like Modella Springs. That stays into effect for us for today. Now, that being said, we have the latest cell that's pushing through that's created some cells and some possibility of some hail moving throughout Indian Beach and up towards Rehoboth Beach, moving steadily to the north, northeast at about 30 to 35 miles per hour. This is just the beginning of what's happening along with some concerns with beach hazards. Coming up, we're going to talk about just how much rain we received. Believe it or not, Charlie, we've already recorded over five inches of rain in some areas, and that's not an outlier. That's closer to the norm. Paul, oh, and you just walked us through, Paul, the weather we've been having. Well, we've had a big switch up from that blazing sunshine, and now we've got thunderstorms and rain. And while we definitely need the reprieve, it does change little things for folks along the coast. It changes what the beachgoers down here on vacation can do, and it even changes things for the shops that operate in our most tourist-heavy areas. Dave Osborne, who's visiting with his family from Jamestown, New York, isn't switching things up. No, but we still want to make sure we, we got here and get the kids here, um, go to the candy store, check out some of the, the local stuff, and quiet, right? So we'll, we'll take it. They can, they can run around, and you know, I don't think we, we'll get in rain jackets on the beach very often, so take advantage of this. Still seems like a lot of fun. Coming up tonight at 6, we'll hear from a Rehoboth Beach shop owner to get her take on how all the wet weather is impacting sales along the boardwalk. 
And this brings us right into our Coast TV poll. We want to know, what do you think about all this rain? Let's take a look at the results so far. Take a look at your screen. 81% say we need it. Though it's too much, no one can drive in it, and it's changing my plans. I'll get a little bit of the vote. I think that's going to change as we run this poll throughout it's the evening. It's going to move a little back and forth. The numbers always shift some. You can be a part of that change. Go vote at CoastTV.com or use the Coast TV mobile app. For years, the Papa John family has been trying to build a hotel above where Candy Kitchen currently is. Now today, another site plan review was held after concerns were raised in June. And this site plan took hours. It was about this four story high retail space on the bottom, an underground parking garage, getting a lot of concerns, especially from visitors. Obviously, as mentioned earlier, it would be really good for the people in the hotel to be able to see out into the ocean, but I think it would encumber the view for anyone kind of behind the hotel, especially someone walking down Rehoboth Avenue. And it seems like it would be kind of crowded here in this one central place behind the bandstand, which would, um, I think, take away from some of, the, um, some of the openness that we're used to here at the boardwalk. After much back and forth among the commission, they recommended amendments to the site plan for the Pop John family to consider. It was mostly about the height of the hotel's antenna, the hotel's impact on traffic, the loading dock, and the impact of construction on surrounding businesses and homes. One day after President Biden delivered his highly watched press conference defending his mental acuity, he hits the campaign trail to tout administration wins. But as NBC's Alice Barr shows us, it wasn't enough to stem some of the growing calls for him to step aside as the Democrats' nominee. President Biden hitting the campaign trail in Battleground, Michigan today as he fights for his political life. I'm not in this for my legacy. I'm in this to complete the job I started. Allies point to a president in command of the issues during last night's nearly hour-long press conference, but there was a notable gaffe. I wouldn't have picked Vice President Trump to be vice president, but I think she was not qualified to be president. When former President Trump mocked him online, the president fired back that he knows the difference. One's a prosecutor, the other's a felon. But it followed a similar flub just hours earlier during the NATO summit. And with questions over his age and fitness surging post-debate, any slip takes on outside significance. A few more Democratic lawmakers called on President Biden to drop out of the race right after the press conference, and the top Democrat in the House spoke with the president at the White House amid fears not just the presidency, but the House and Senate are at risk if Mr. Biden can't drum up enough enthusiasm, with even some supportive voters. I love that man. Deeply worried. I think it's time for him to step down. Get us a candidate that is ready for this right now and for many years in the future. One of President Biden's closest allies, Congressman Jim Clyburn, standing by him on NBC's Today Show. The conversation should focus on the record of this administration, on the alternative to his election, and let Joe Biden continue uh, to make his own decisions about appearing to leave the door open to a different decision before the Democratic National Convention next month. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News. On Friday, Donald Trump said he'd like to announce his vice presidential running mate next week, potentially during the Republican National Convention. Trump indicated that his VP shortlist includes Senators Marco Rubio of Florida and J.D. Vance of Ohio. Tim Scott of South Carolina, as well as North Dakota Governor Doug Burgum. Still to come on Coast TV News at 5, traffic watch what to expect if you're taking the Bay Bridge or your family in. And we have several flood warnings in effect in our area. I'll catch you up with the latest coming right up. Cars, concerts, counting, and carnivals. Coming up, I'll show you the cool things to do this weekend. As your local Touchstone Energy Cooperative, we wear many hats. We take pride in serving our members and our community by going the extra mile in everything we do. Because we not only work here, we live here. We're Delaware Electric Cooperative and we're proud to keep the lights on. 
Have you visited Tyndall's Casual Furniture this season? Come see us! Why shop online when you can explore Delmarva's exclusive Hollywood dealer in person? See the finishes, feel the fabrics, and even sit on the furniture. From polymer to aluminum, wicker and ePay, bring home the perfect blend of quality and design with Tyndall's. Crafted to enhance your lifestyle, all of our furniture comes with professional assembly and take advantage of our in-house white glove delivery. Tyndall's Casual Furniture, Delmarva's outdoor furniture experts. Are you struggling to lose weight? Do you want to live a healthier and more empowered life? Whether it's been a lifelong struggle or you're new to weight loss, we can help you get the results you're looking for. At Tidal Health, we offer a comprehensive and customized approach to weight loss that includes surgical and medical options. Our team of dedicated professionals is committed to making sure you have the knowledge and support to reach your goals and get on the path to wellness. To learn how you can reach your goal weight, visit TidalHealth.org slash lose weight today. This is Coast TV News at 5. When you're at the coast, it's easy to find something to do on the weekend. But big events returning during the upcoming week will get you through to next weekend, too. Coast TV News anchor Mallory Metzner has your cool things to do. We're in the middle of the summer season and going to the beach is a great option almost every day. But if you're looking for other ways to get involved with nature or the arts in the community, here are some cool things to do. Enjoy buggies and brunch in Rehoboth Beach. There's a chance to show off your car in the south side of the Agave parking lot. Delaware Beach's Cars and Coffee says you can enjoy coffee outside and a complimentary appetizer inside if you mention bringing your car on Saturday. The Robith Art League is offering a free bilingual art class for children ages 5 to 10 on Saturday from 11 a.m. to noon. Registration is required. New work is coming to the Heidi Lowe Gallery. A reception is planned Saturday night for the exhibition Jewelry with a View. According to the gallery, the landscape series is inspired by nature and the stones used. Search for dolphins with the Murr Institute this summer. There are sunset dolphin cruises on the Cape Water Tours boat, including one this Sunday, July 14th. Plus, the organization's annual dolphin count is July 20th. That's where you record dolphins at an assigned spot to help environmentalists study the local dolphin population. Summer concerts continue. Here are a few upcoming dates to mark down. Enjoy American reggae music at Trap Pond State Park in Laurel on Saturday. Lewis Canal Front Park has Charlie and the Cool Tunes on July 18th at Hudson Fields on Fridays from 4 to 9 through October with food trucks, free parking and entry. The Delaware State Fair is back next week with a carnival, competitions and concerts. Rick Springfield performs on opening night July 18th. The fun continues through the 27th. We have links to purchase tickets and full concert lineups on coasttv.com in the Cool Things to Do article. Here at North Bay Marina, we know that boaters have the most fun. Turn your dreams of a perfect kitchen into reality with That Cabinet Store, where a dedicated team of designers will bring your vision to life. Whether it's traditional or European, kitchen design is our specialty. And we can get your fully customized kitchen cabinets installed in as little as four weeks, semi-custom in 10 days. And if you're looking for new countertops, we offer quality in-house fabricated countertops. Dream today, designs for tomorrow at That Cabinet Store. Located with Matt the Carpet Guy in Selbyville and Salisbury. Hey, welcome to Poppy's Tacos. There's plenty of space for you and all of your friends. The menu is packed with real deal Mexican eats. Build your own tacos are always a fan favorite. Authentic short rib is my choice. The fajitas are steaming and the smothered burritos are killer. We're open 363 days a year. So come pull up a chair. Poppies, there's always a fiesta on 15th Street. Is your crawl space wet and has a bad odor? Did you know the air you breathe in your home 
starts in your crawl space? Dark, damp spaces breed mold and mildew, which can be linked to allergies and asthma. Our dry time crawl space encapsulation will solve your moisture problems for good. Enjoy a drier, healthier, and more energy efficient home thanks to our unique understanding and experience of successful treating and eliminating crawl space moisture. Remember Delmarva, quality isn't expensive, it's priceless. Feeling the summer sizzle? Is it turning your home into a sauna? At FH Fur, we know you can't wait when your AC is down for the count. That's why we're offering same-day service, guaranteed. If we don't make it to you the very same day, you will pay a diagnostic or dispatch fee, plain and simple. So whether your AC is blowing hot air, your thermostat is on the fritz, or your entire system needs replacing, an FH Fur expert technician will bring your comfort back today. 877-CALL-FUR, FHFUR.COM. Looking for a beautiful area rug that'll make your room come to life? Visit the Rug World at Johnny Janosik. Our rug experts and professional design team will help you find the perfect rug for your home. Choose from our exclusive selection of fine handmade area rugs from around the world in any size and any style at prices you can afford. Transform your room with the right rug from the Rug World at Johnny Janosik World of Furniture and Mattresses in Laurel, Dover, Wilmington, and Christiana. Coast TV First Alert Weather, your safety, our commitment. In a sense, the rain that we're dealing with right now is kind of like when a kid colors outside of the lines. Well, that's what's happening with these storms right now. They were supposed to stay in the good old fashioned summer thunderstorm line, but it's coloring outside of the lines, causing concern for flooding in various areas. Our Irish eyes camera showing that we're expecting a chance of thunderstorms to come to a short end force at six o'clock and then reemerge at nine o'clock. We had a severe, excuse me, we had a flash flood warning that was in effect for us throughout central portions of Sussex. That's been ex allowed to expire just briefly. We see the rain still racing across the region, but we still have the active flood warning or flash flood warning throughout Somerset and Wacomico. That stays in effect until about 545. This is a fluid situation that we are continuing to monitor. Now, we've had some cells that have produced a little bit of hail, but that's now raced off of the shore, and we're still concerned about the possibility of some beach hazards concerns for us throughout Accomack until 8 o'clock for this evening because of the gusty winds associated with these isolated thunderstorm cells. All of this is riding towards the north northeast at approximately 35 miles per hour. Fortunately, it's not causing any concern for very gusty winds, although we are just picking up on right here just in the most southern tip of our viewing area. We have some severe thunderstorm warnings that have been issued a few moments ago. We're in the 70s right now, generally speaking, throughout the entire region. Let's talk about rainfall totals. The updated numbers, over five and a half inches in Harbison, over four, nearly four and a quarter in Lewis, and over three inches or close to four in Jones, Crossroads, Laurel, Stockley, Delmar. Over three inches of rain there. Some other locations, over three inches of rain in Seaford, Rehoboth Beach, Slaughter Beach, close to three inches in Ellendale, 2.66 in Greenwood, and closing in on two inches of rain in Millsboro. Here's a wider view. Our official site in Georgetown, over three and a half inches of rain. Remember the models yesterday were just calling for maybe a full inch over three days? Well, that's the coloring out of bounds that we're talking about with the models. There has been so much heat in place that that added more instability or uncertainty to it. But look for the scattered tropical downpours for tonight and Saturday. The weekend's going to start off unsettled, but it's going to end up dry and hot. And a heat wave kicks in on Sunday through Wednesday to the point where we were actually issuing a first alert day because of the heat next week. So let's pay attention to this as we watch walk through. For the rest of the night, we'll see scattered showers stopping briefly at 10 o'clock, then some additional scattered showers offshore. And then here's Saturday morning. We have scattered showers across Georgetown, north of Seaford, an extremely strong cell north of Seaford. And then as we go into 11 o'clock, that's when things are going to explode. All right, look at this. Lunchtime, Saturday, all bets are off for doing anything outside. Let me say that one more time. All bets are off for anything outside Saturday afternoon. 2.30 along Highway 13, a deluge. 4.30, same situation, and we will continue to stay under the gun. Fortunately, the winds are coming out of the south, but only at about 20 to 25 miles per hour, so it's not going to be so bad. And even as you take a look at the rainfall forecast, we're looking at the estimates range raising up to about a full additional inch in several areas. And as we go through our future rain, we're looking for some additional widespread scattered showers too. Here's a look at your extended forecast. 
Yellow alert day for Saturday in the storms and the heat on Tuesday, high of 99. That is going to be warm out there, Paul. Thank you. And you are taking a look right now at the Bay Bridge. Eastbound delays are up to nine miles. And if you're heading to the bridge or have friends coming to visit, two-way traffic that's not allowed due to the current bad weather. Maryland students have opportunity for free lunch this summer. The State Department of Education is offering free lunch at participating libraries and rec centers. And to get that free lunch, you don't have to provide any identification. Who's ready for a game? Pull out your phones and you're going to want to scan the QR code you're about to see on your screen. Take a look here. Coming up after the break, we're playing live trivia, reviewing our top stories. Has your kitchen remodel been on the back burner? Move it forward now and take advantage of our biggest kitchen sale of the year. Paul Davis can restyle your kitchen for half the cost of a traditional kitchen remodel. Get all new doors, drawers, and hardware without any major demolition. And the best part is it's done in as little as three days. We'll bring the showroom to you as soon as tomorrow and give you an estimate that day. Call now to get $1,500 off plus free hardware and no payments, no interest for 12 months. Call Paul Davis the restoration and remodeling experts. Weather is sponsored by Paul Davis Restoration, your storm damage experts, here to help now. The floor is lava! When your floor starts showing signs of wear and tear from all the fun and games, Carpet and Tile Mart makes it easy to afford and install new flooring within a week. Carpet and Tile Mart, available, affordable, at your service. Sometimes it takes a different approach a meeting. So how does next week sound? to see the possibilities all around you. <laughs> yep. Yeah, what if I catch him first? Then what? With Capella University's game-changing FlexPath format, get support every step of the way to help you stay on track. Imagine your future differently with Capella University. Catch 54 in Fenwick Island, Delaware is an award-winning waterfront restaurant serving fresh local seafood. Catch 54 features indoor and outdoor dining and serves beautiful, simple coastal cuisine with house favorites including our signature crab cakes, shrimp and grits, and our famous 54 burger. Catch 54 offers delicious, chef-inspired nightly specials, a raw bar, a wine spectator winning wine list and monthly wine dinners, and the best happy hour in town. Catch 54 in Fenwick Island, open seven days a week. See you soon. At Carpet and Tile Mart, the sales are hot during our Summer of Savings event. Right now, get special flooring deals mart-wide, plus 0% financing up to 36 months. Carpet and Tile Mart, available, affordable, at your service. I'm proud of you, son. Thanks, Dad. That means a lot. This home wouldn't be possible without the foundational life lessons you taught me. Call Dry Zone. What? To protect your crawl space. This is Delmarva, son. Just like your life, your home's foundation is a dry crawl space called Dry Zone. They're the oldest and the best. Just like you, Dad. Protect your largest investment with Delmarva's local choice Dry Zone, the oldest and the best. Brought to you by Dry Zone, your local crawl space experts. We're back with something new and exciting here on Coast TV. We'll be playing some trivia to recap our top stories of the week here on Delmarva. So here is how it works. Go to coasttv.com slash quiz wherever you are or scan the QR code. You see it right here. You can play along on our Coast TV app as well. And we'll be asking for multiple choice questions. The faster you answer, the more points you earn. All of these questions are from stories on Coast TV earlier this week. So be sure to tune in each day as you might see some answers. Here we go. Question one. From Monday, which Sussex County town approved recreational marijuana sales? Dewey, Georgetown, or Millsboro? Which we've talked about this a lot, Charlie. And we got a little drum roll here. Four, three, Ooh. two, one. And the answer? George, well. It is Georgetown. Dewey Beach getting more of the voting there, though. Retail pot shops cannot be within a thousand feet of churches, schools, or rehab centers. Question number two, how over budget is the new Rehoboth Beach Patrol building? $500,000, $1,000,000 or $2,000,000? And people might remember, Charlie, this Beach Patrol has been a long time coming. And it's been a big project. They've had some setbacks along the way due to the ground soil there. We're about to give you your answer. Hope you got yours locked in. And we look like most people have this one right, $500,000. That's correct. There we go. Good stuff. 
Moving on to our third question, which professional athlete was seen in Delaware this week? Was it Lamar Jackson, Jason Kelsey, or Eli Manning? I think a lot of people who are active on our social media might know the answer to this, but any of these guys would be great to see. All tremendous football players, no question <laughs> there. Only one of them cost me a couple of Super Bowls as a Patriots <laughs> fan. Eli Manning is your answer. He was seen at the Chick-fil-A in Dover and at Fish on at Fish On in Lewis. One of my favorite restaurants. I love that. And our last question is from yesterday. How many times did the Cape Henlopen School District go to referendum this year specifically? Once, twice, or three times? Referendum, of course, is being used to ask for taxpayer dollars for projects. And we're almost to our answer here. Are you ready? Two times is the correct answer. March and May, though, neither of them passed. That wraps up our news quiz. Let's take a second to see our results here. Who do we got as a winner today, ladies and gentlemen? Drum roll, please stand by. Da -da 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 Final results. Viewer 2561. If that is you, congratulations. Fantastic. And we'll have a look at our leaderboard as well. The folks who are participating in here. 2561, killing it. 3,200 points. Big win there. Thanks so much for playing, everybody. I, I think that was pretty fun. I liked it. We'll be right back. Enjoy the season, taste the flavors, support the farmers. Shop the Burland Farmers Market. Reconnect with the cycles of nature and your community. With a wide variety of produce and provisions, discovering the taste of small town charm never felt so good. The Burland Farmers Market, Sundays from 9 to 1. 18 years ago, we founded Community Bank Delaware with the goal of providing high quality banking services to our local community. Here you meet with decision makers, people just like you who live in and love this community. We provide the newest banking technologies to our customers, supported by our local team of banking professionals. Our bank serves clients throughout Sussex County, and we continue to grow, all thanks to you. Community Bank Delaware, where community matters. Get ready for the adventure of a lifetime with summer savings at Gateway Subaru. Right now, save up to $3,300 on a new 2024 Subaru Outback. Plus, take advantage of great financing rates as low as 0% for 48 months. At Gateway Subaru, we're committed to higher standards, ensuring every journey starts with trust and excellence. Stop by and discover the thrill of the all-new 2025 Subaru Forester. Designed for the bold, ready for any adventure. Gateway Subaru, just minutes from the beaches in the heart of Delmarva. Higher standards. Today with Bath by Spicer Brothers. Call now and ask about our Refresh for Less promotion and get a new bath or shower for only $69.95. Plus, get 20% off all upgrades. Imagine stepping into a beautifully renovated bath designed by our experts and installed by our certified professionals. This offer is hotter than a sauna and won't last forever. So don't miss out on our Refresh for Less promotion for just $69.95 with 20% off all upgrades. Before you sign, keep Bath by Spicer Brothers in mind because you deserve the best. Enjoy the season, taste the flavors, support the farmers. Shop the Berlin Farmers Market. Reconnect with the cycles of nature and your community. With a wide variety of produce and provisions, discovering the taste of small town charm never felt so good. The Berlin Farmers Market, Sundays from 9 to 1. Thanks to the rain that we've received, we still have a flood warning in effect for most of Sussex County. Now, we initially started off at the top of the hour with a flash flood warning. Here's the difference. Flash flood, immediately, anywhere. Flood warning, typically next to any kind of waterways, streams, or anything like that. That's what we have here. But we still have a flash flood warning for Somerset Wacomico, places like Del Mar, Salisbury, and those areas, particularly along Highway 349. In addition to that, beach hazard statement in effect, Shinkatee to the south, and we can see the rain still very active, moving from the south to the north. Call our weather lines, keep you updated on what's happening with your forecast. Sponsor our Baird, Mandalas, Bruxted, and Federico. And finally, here is a look at your exclusive 10-day forecast. We're calling for a yellow alert day for Saturday because of the rain. And for Tuesday, this one is because of the heat. Look at the high, 99. That's not heat index. That's air temperature. 
Paul, thank you, and thanks for joining us here for Coast TV News at 5. For more news, more local weather, download our Coast TV News app. Inside Edition is up next. And we're going to see you later tonight for Coast TV News at 6. Have a great evening.